National Water Agency PUBE, on June 20, announced a tender to expand the Changi Water Reclamation Plant, the facility's third expansion, since 2008. The expansion will raise its water treatment capacity by up to 96 million gallons a day, which is equivalent to the amount of water in 175 Olympic-sized swimming pools. PAP said the expansion, slated to be completed in the mid-2030s, will meet the increased demand for treated used water from industries in the east and ensure a sustainable used water system for Singapore. The third expansion of the Changi plant will incorporate advanced membrane bioreactor technology that is more space and energy efficient in the used water treatment process. The technology also produces better quality, treated used water for new water production. The Changi plant's current water treatment capacity is 224 million gallons per day. It is undergoing its second expansion, which is slated for completion by end 2024. The total capacity after the second expansion will be 246 million gallons a day. Including the Changi plant, there are four water reclamation plants in the Republic. The others are in Jurong, Ulu Penden, and Kronji. As at 2023, Singapore's daily water consumption is about 440 million gallons. Water demand is expected to almost double by 2065, of which two-thirds are projected to come from non-domestic sectors. Emeritus Professor Ng, one gen of the School of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Nanyang Technological University NTU said, industry demand for water is expected to increase. Such as from the anticipated electronics industry expansion, and the latter shall largely be met with new water. Used water that has been treated in the water reclamation plants is transported to new water factories, where it is purified by reverse osmosis. Ultraviolet light is then used to remove any remaining viruses or bacteria in the water. New water is primarily used for industrial and air conditioning, cooling purposes at wafer fabrication plants industrial estates and commercial buildings. During dry periods, new water is added to Singapore's reservoirs. The water is then treated at waterworks here before it is supplied for domestic use. Commissioned in 2008, Changi's used water reclamation plant has two new water factories, built in 2010 and 2017 respectively. Construction of the third new water factory at the plant will commence in late 2024. Following the completion of an environmental impact assessment, which concluded that discharge from the new factory would not affect the marine environment. The new new water factory is expected to be completed in 2026 and will receive treated used water from the Changi Water Reclamation Plant. It is expected to produce up to 50 million gallons of new water per day, which is equivalent to what the two existing factories at Changi produce in a day. Associate Professor Darren, son delay of NTU School of Civil and Environmental Engineering, said water reclamation plants are essential as they prevent treated used water from being lost and reduce the need for water from the other three national taps. He was referring to Singapore's Three other water sources, rainwater that is captured through waterways and reservoirs, imported water drawn from Malaysia and desalinated water. If the country's population and tourism rate increase as projected, the amount of wastewater generated will surge. Water reclamation is also cheaper than desalination, he added. The cost of water reclamation from new water factories is at least 30% lower than that of desalination. Professor Sun, who is also the founder of NanoSun, a spin-off company from NTU dealing with 3D printing nanomaterials for water reclamation, said PUBE has been pioneering and innovating new water systems to such an extent that by 2060, more than 55% of the national needs will be met at very cost-effective rates.
Speaking on June 20 at the Singapore Business Forum, part of the Singapore International Water Week, held from June 18 to 22. Senior Minister of State for Sustainability and the Environment Amy Kaur said that Singapore has turned a weakness into a strength and transformed itself into a global leader in water management through innovation and resilience. We have over the years continued to leverage RD research and development to deliver new technologies and solutions for the climate challenges we face, she said. These include improving the efficiency of and reducing the energy needed for producing new water to ensure the sustainability and resilience of Singapore's water supply, she added.